Hi, my name is Jasmine White. I'm a senior at Waverly High School. And you are saying... And this is Come Home to You. My mother has fallen in love with the phrase, you're gonna have that forever. Every time I heard this from her, I got offended. Like she was questioning the very existence of every story I had ever written. Like she thought my golden compass suddenly stopped aligning with the Earth's magnetic field and started aligning with the crooked lines that plaster my shoulders and wrists like algae on gray slate. Like she underestimated every ocean storm and crashing wave that has nearly destroyed me over the past 18 years. But she wasn't questioning my story, she was questioning hers. Questioning her existence as a mom, questioning the ability of her boat to carry her baby through an ocean that only knew destruction. And she looked at my scars as her own. With every discoloration and white pigmented groove, she saw a shipwreck that could have been prevented if she just would have checked the weather a little sooner. Like she thought she could have kept the depression from creeping in like high tide after a boy crept in like a mako shark only to make this body feel like plastic floating in an empty abyss. After a woman wrecked this home and splashed regret along this family name. After the anxiety followed in like seagulls picking at the scraps of this broken soul. But mama, there is no weather pattern for this storm. There is no tsunami season. These things don't just hit once a year. But you gave me the tools to build a ship that could carry me past hurricanes, past the depression that knew no mercy. You showed me that love will follow the motion of the sea, and sometimes that means coming back to where it began. You taught me that anxiety doesn't have to be water trapping oxygen in my lungs, and mama, you taught me how to breathe underwater. How to turn a boat into a submarine and appreciate the bottom of the ocean where even though there's only darkness, life still finds a way. You taught me that drowning wasn't an option, that lungs are meant to thrive in the presence of oxygen, and mama, I'm thriving. I can see the horizon of this future, inhaling every ounce of breath that this life has to offer, no longer bound to the tides. I will climb mountains, run prairies, tackle the harshness of a jungle, and find my way to the red forest trees but I'll still visit the sea. Appreciate the harsh salts on my toes, the freezing water on my skin, the feeling of the crashing waves that I once conquered. And mama, I'll still come home to you.